BTEX compound have been in news recently after the electricity outage that was seen in the regions of Texas United States. So what are these BTEX compounds and why they have been new in news recently? So BTEX stands for B for benzene, T for toluene, E for ethyl benzene and Z for xylene. Now xylene again occurs in three forms that is the ortho, meta and the para xylene forms. Now all of these four compounds together are one of the major sources of air pollution and they are one of the most abundantly found chemicals uh, processed on earth. Now they are also seen as either BTEX compound or BTX compounds where ethyl benzene is not part of it. Now most of the ocean region or the water region surrounding the oil refineries have BTEX compound. They occur naturally in the uh, petroleum and in the refining process they are exposed. Now what are the sources of BTEX? Now when we talk about sources there are numerous sources. These sources can either be natural or anthropogenic or human induced sources what we can say when it comes to natural sources two of the most important sources are one is volcanic sources and the other is the forest fires however when we talk about anthropogenic sources there are numerous sources when we talk about uh, emissions from vehicles be it the paint be it the thinners, the rubber material, the rubber products that are used, the adhesives that are used, all these have BTEX compounds with them. As we said, they are the most abundant, abundantly processed chemicals found in the world. Now, these can be found in crude water, in the region surrounding the oil refineries, in the seawater and also in the natural gas deposits. Since there are so many sources of BTEX compounds that are there, they, there is a natural possibility to get released. Now when they are released into the atmosphere, uh, what kind of uh, things are released? So first is particulate matter. There are carbon monoxide emissions, nitrogenous oxides that are seen, sulfur oxides that are seen. So uh, these are some of the common oxides that are seen. Within sulfur, there is sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide that is commonly seen as a result of the emissions from BTEX compounds. Now within BTEX, benzene is considered as a carcinogenic compound. So what are the problems related to it are leading to cancer diseases like cancer. However, TEX that is the toluene, ethyl benzene and xylene are related mainly to asthma, related to PCOD that is the pulmonary obstruction disorder. So uh, those are common uh, disorders that are uh, seen with the compounds which are uh, benzene mainly. Now what are the permissible limit? It is believed that if there is one part per billion of benzene it is considered as harmful for human beings. So if the drinkable water has even one part of benzene in one billion part which is one parts per billion, one ppb, not million, it's billion, that is 10 raised to power 9, then also it is considered as toxic. For toluene, the acceptable limits are 180 parts per billion. For ethyl benzene, it is 80 parts per billion. And for xylene, it varies from 75 to uh, 350, which is the different forms of xy xylene, the ortho, meta and para forms, uh, in terms of parts per billion that is seen. As we said, they are highly carcinogenic. They can uh, lead to severe pulmonary disorders and are major cause of air pollution or air emissions that is C. Now uh, along with it, it's not just the BTEX compound that are released by the oil refineries, but there are other compounds as well. For example, MTBE is one of the most common compounds that is seen. Besides that, there are uh, the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons that are seen. Now BTEX is VOC that is volatile organic compound and has all the properties of volatile organic compound which we have covered in a separate lecture. Now if we see in what forms 
benzene toluene xylene are seen as a part of petroleum refinery we can see those as polyurethane uh, we can see those as polyester fibers resins those can be seen in nylon uh, polycarbonate resins polyester so any form of synthetic produce that is seen would have the components of btex that are seen now when it comes to texas why it was a news and why do you think this was a real cause of concern now what happened due to the arctic air mass that is spread to the regions of southern america there was a acute cold condition that was witnessed with heavy snowfall and therefore the demand for electricity consumption uh, shooted up now with this increase in the demand there was a increase to match the demand supply ratio but the demand could be, could not be matched with the supply as a result the factories had to the industries had to keep uh, sh themselves shut for at least 4 to 6 hours in order to maintain the balance that was there now even if the industries are shut the petroleum refineries need to have the basic functioning so that they do not go out of order and in that process a lot of btex compound was released in the atmosphere and the emissions that were released during that time were considered of much higher magnitude when the electricity plants are actually functional so therefore it is very very important to take into account that there is an alternative cleaner greener fuel uh, substitute that has to be brought and ethanol is considered a good match for it ethanol usually has nearly 39 percent less greenhouse gas emissions as compared to the petroleum products and therefore we are now focusing on blended ethanol biodiesel technology that we are focusing on so that is about the btex compound very very important topic very very recent topic uh, we would be covering many such interesting topics for you stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead